The year is 1979. No, not that 1979. We Actual 1979. You just cracked open your first newly introduced McDonald's Happy Meal. You're watching Channel 7, WLS TV. And you are watching You're Never Too Old. A TV special music variety show promoting Marriott's Great America, which had only opened three years prior. This TV special is full of song, dance, and I assume nobody was on drugs during this. It's normal. There's nothing unusual at all. And this TV special stars Lisa Hartman. Lisa Hartman has had a long career as a singer and actress, but this was more towards the beginning of her career. Viewers around this time may have known her from the short-lived Bewitched spin-off Tabitha, but that seems doubtful as it was cancelled after 11 episodes. Viewers from around this time are more likely to know her from her first two albums. Her second album, Hold On, was fresh off the racks a few months prior to the airing of this special, and her self-titled debut album came out a few years before that. The more notable moments in her career seem to have taken place in the years after this special. But with that introduction out of the way, it's time to dive right in. As we start with two genuine olds. An old couple, they're genuinely very old. Morning, dear. They're flipping through the TV channels, having a really hard time finding something to watch. Basically me every time I have Netflix open. I don't want to watch him. No, I don't want to watch him either. Oh no, not him. No. You know, it sure isn't like it used to be. All we do now is sit around home. Remember all the fun we used to have? So after not finding anything on TV, they reminisce about the old days where they used to do stuff. Relatable. Remembering their fond, fond memories of going to Lake Geneva. Oh, uh, no, never been to Lake Geneva. Anyways, they have fond memories of Lake Geneva. No, nope, I've never been to Lake Geneva. Fond, fond memories. I've never been to Lake Geneva. Too bad we can't share in those times again. Who says? Who said that? I did. Lisa Hartman broke into our house. It's not a robbery. Lisa Hartman's just there to show them a good time. Who are you? I'm Lisa, and I know a place where there's nothing but good times. I can show you that you're never too old to have fun. So let's go. Let's go. I've never been to Lake Geneva. You're never too old. From Marriott's Great America, you're never too old. Starring Lisa Hartman, Dr. Hook, the Chicago Honey Bears. I actually had to look up who the Chicago Honey Bears were. Apparently the NFL team, the Chicago Bears, had a cheerleading squad. This was during the late 70s and the early 80s, and they are currently one of the six NFL teams to not have a cheerleading squad. After a disastrous season in 1975, owner George Hallis decided to bring on cheerleaders. They were only paid $15 per game, but this was raised to a whopping $20 per game. Years later in 1985, a few years after George Hallis passed, his daughter Virginia Hallis McCaskey did disbanded the Honey Bears. George Hallis really believed in having a cheerleading squad for a team, but the rest of the family weren't really for it. Anyways, the opening for this? Oh my gosh. The song is an earworm, and look at that overhead shot of the park. Oh, it's beautiful. I believe that Skyride is the Southern Cross based on where it's positioned. You see Wizard, you see Tidal Wave, I can see Turn of the Century, the Sky Whirl. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And now there are no tickets necessary. And right away, this musical variety show starts with a musical number by Lisa Hartman. There's a lot of these. Um, this special is really focused on Lisa Hartman. Maybe more than it is focused on Marriott's Great America. The outfits are so cool. Look at the outfits. And the opening number here is a bop. We've got a certified bop here. She's singing and dancing, going down the steps on the side of a trolley. I'm hyped. Step out and don't look back. This is the time of having fun. You're never too old. This is just the first stop, but now we're going to speed things up a bit. So I'm going to give you a little something to help you move along, okay? Ooh, is it healthcare? We really need healthcare. We're so old.
Yeah, roller skates, that's fine too. Thanks, Lisa Hartman. Oh my god, turn of the century. It's so beautiful. With no time wasted, we have special guest Dr. Hook. They're performing right in front of Turn of a Century's red corkscrews. Of course, Turn of a Century is now known as Demon. This was before the Demon theming and before they added loops instead of the airtime hills that used to exist before. From people who experienced Turn of a Century, I hear that the airtime hills were superior to the loops, but the loops really gave it an extra thrill factor for its time. Nevertheless, I love Demon. It's very special to me. And the theming is quite a big upgrade. But man, it's so cool to see well-preserved footage of Turn of a Century. Prior to seeing the special, I haven't seen any footage of Turn of a Century this clean anywhere. So anyways, Dr. Hook is performing their song When You're In Love With A Beautiful Woman, and I know this song, and this is a pretty fun performance to watch. Sure, it's no You're Never Too Old by Lisa Hartman, but it's not a bad song. Just start clapping mid-performance, that's fine, that's not rude at all. Oh, hi Doc, nice to meet you. No, no, you don't understand, I'm not Dr. Hook. Then you must be Dr. Hook. Not just one of them is Dr. Hook, they're all Dr. Hook. Yeah, it's, it's not really important who he is. No, who we are. Who we are. <laughs> not sure what happened there, but it's not important who they is. No, who we are. Who they are. <laughs> what is important is that you two have a good time. Yeah, right. Oh, like we, we're certainly doing that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, even if it does get a little confusing at times. Oh, hush up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, husband of dementia. We gotta get rolling. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye bye. Be Go careful. There. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Dr. Hook is like, don't let the old people stand, and Lisa Hartman is like, rollerblades? Rollerblades. Rollerblades. No. Be careful. Rollerblades. And now I present to you the weirdest transition in the history of transitions. <laughs> Excuse me? What was that? I didn't add that in, that's... there. <laughs> Confusion. Even if it does get a little confusing at times. It really do be confusing sometimes. I don't have anything to add to that. That's just like one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. <laughs> so after a short furry convention and whatever the f*** that was, it's time to hit up Tidal Wave! Oh, look honey, there's only one seat left. What a disappointment. What? It's a station wait. You can't do a station wait? I'm gonna let you take the last seat. Oh, no, no, no. No, just, just like, wait for the next one. We've been on 12 times today. So this Thuzi who's been marathoning Tidal Wave all day lets them have their seat. And yes, more great footage of another old roller coaster at Marriott's Great America. You see the waves on the sides with the lights. Sky Whirl in the background just looking, mwah, mwah. See, you're never too old to have fun. Um, she's staring off into the distance, um, you read the warning signs, right? Don't ride if you have a heart condition, but you're never too old to have fun. Now Lisa Hartman just sings Hold On, I'm Coming by Sam and Dave. This cover is alright, it's in front of Yukon Territory. Lisa Hartman looking like a red fruit roll up. Nothing really happens here to be honest. And then this is a weird thing. It freeze frames before the transition, which it does that a lot, but this time you hear a voiceover of two people saying That was great! And Sure was, but what is she? I think Lisa Hartman is actually supposed to be a witch in this. Uh-oh, weird synthesizer circusy music again. That means it's time for another weird skit. <laughs> it 
It's just weird. This person in a chicken suit comes out and sweeps, um, and then gets back on the sky world. I guess because it's like a cage, it has a chicken in it, and the chicken has a broom because... Those people were trash. Gotta clean the trash. But the Sky World, you can see why I liked it so much. The seats were suspended by a chain, and the way that thing wobbled around was super spooky at first. Good combination of spooky and relaxing ride. I approve. Yeah! Deja Vu could never. Now it's time for Jay Johnson and Squeaky. Jay Johnson was a ventriloquist, and get ready for your new nightmares. to go for well hello honey do you want to go for a ride in the new car who, who, who are you talking to see the girl in glasses there i i think she turns me on now don't say that ew <laughs> i love girls in glasses why is that well you can sneak up on a girl in glasses yeah go <laughs> and they don't see nothing squeaky likes girls in glasses because he can breathe heavily on their faces fog up their glasses and then they can't see what he's doing cut the cameras now the old couple is getting ice cream and hey! wait a second. They're getting younger. Come through with that plot progression. Come through with that storytelling. Come through with that witchcraft, those magical roller blades. They're roller skates, you stupid idiot. Nobody's perfect. Oh no, he forgot his wallet and, and their traveler's traveler checks. checks. What, what will they do? do? Ah, what's wrong with your face? Embarrassing, isn't it? This nightmare could have been avoided if only they had imaginary express traveler's checks. So after that very frightening child telling us about imaginary express traveler's checks, like they put makeup on him to make him look like an old man or something, right? I'm not just being mean, right? That's clearly like some sort of prosthetic makeup, right? 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 I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> Dr. Hook performs one of their lesser known songs in an open field, and this could be at Marriott's Great America or just in a random field. You don't see anything from the park in this shot, and it's really a bizarre choice. Skit time! That one's a wig. It was a wig. Oh yeah, that's definitely Delta Flyer alongside Southern Cross. And this lighthouse was really cool. Why did they ever get rid of that? I mean, you gotta put 17 roller coasters somewhere. Bye bye theming. Lisa Hartman sings this Take My Breath Away song. Take my breath away. It's a beautiful song accompanied by not Kermit the Frog on the rocks. That's definitely not Kermit the Frog. Wizard footage, turn of the century. More tidal wave, loggers run. Man, you think Wizard is missing a lot of trees now from Max Force? Look at the way it used to look. For me personally, it is strange to see it without a bunch of trees surrounding it. Oh, sea monster, mermaid, scuba diver. Oh, <laughs> I get it. So she can breathe. I get it. Do you think maybe we could rest a second and get something to drink? Rest? We just got started! Come on, Lisa, where are we going next? Anyways, Old Man is a Thuzy now and he wants to just marathon the rides. There's a water fountain right in here. Why don't I check it out and see if we can maybe hang out in there for a few minutes and rest a bit? Oh, I don't want to go in there. All there's going to be is a bunch of smelly towels and some dirty old shoes. You know how water fountains are. Full of smelly towels and dirty old shoes. But va va voom va va voom It's the honey bears. Va va voom Maybe I could use a little rest. Didn't see tap dancing coming, to be honest. I think those lockers cost $5 to rent. They dance to We Are Family by Sister Sledge, and it's fine. It's skit time! It's literally just a montage of kids eating with extreme close-ups. Like... Alas, it's time for this show to come to a close. It's a fast-progressing medley of rock songs. Sure, it's long, it loses the plot, but it's not as weird as the majority of things that we've seen so far in this show. I could imagine that a show like this took place at Marriott's Great America. Sure, 
Maybe not ending with Lisa Hartman singing old time rock and roll in full. It's them! They're so young! It's a miracle! That's just the magical world of Marriott's. So Lisa Hartman transports our protagonist back home. We can't stay here, Lisa, not when we know there's a whole world of fun out there. I just came here to show you that there is a whole world of fun out there for people of all ages. Can we go back? Well, sure. But from now on, you're on your own, okay? Okay, let's go. And it closes with them on a double-decker carousel, and yeah, that's the end of the show. And there you have it, that's the weirdest amusement park TV special that I have ever stumbled across. And it was a lot of fun, I love watching stuff like this. If you ever come across more, please recommend them in the comments. That pretty much wraps it up for this video, I'm sorry about the constantly changing light outside, but I'm not going to wait for daylight's endings time. I'm not going to procrastinate on this video. Yeah, the sun sets at 4pm now. When you're in love with a beautiful subscribe button, smash it. Thanks for going down this bizarre journey with me. I really needed it. I really needed your companionship to get through this. I have other videos on the history of Great America and more on their way too. I never get tired of talking about Great America. There's just so much history to cover. Anyways, this has been Zero Credits Remaining and I've got a furry convention at Six Flags Great America to catch. Bye.